How are you guys? Fantastic. Uh, let you know, in case you were wondering, I do not have children. Uh, I don't trust them. They have sticky hands and they're full of lies. You call it imagination, I call it bullshit. That's what I call it. I just don't, I don't trust them. For the main reason I don't trust them actually is just because their parents are my friends and they shouldn't be breeding, they're animals. And ultimately that's the generate, like this new version, the 2013 model, no thank you. Cause this is the generation that's gonna have to defend us against China. Do you feel safe? Feel safe knowing that? We're gonna have a whole army that's like, I would storm the beach, but I have a shellfish allergy. <laughs> Feel comfortable knowing that? In 20 years, an entire military that can get wiped out with a bag of gluten? <laughs> it's not gonna beat superpower China. They do calisthenics every morning. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like we're, we're treating them soft. We're, we're, we're treating them too soft. Like I went to my cousin's son's soccer game a month ago and I was there for a half hour. Finally, I asked one of the parents, I go, hey, excuse me, uh, what's the score? And she looked up from her iPhone, all proud of herself. She was like, um, we stopped doing that. <laughs> you stopped doing what? <laughs> we stopped keeping score. It's bad for their confidence you, lady. I got money on this game. I think I just showed up to a park on a Saturday for fun. I put 300 on that orange team. I got some dangerous people looking for me and I need to make some money. Why are we trying to stop kids from losing? You're supposed to lose when you're a kid. If you lose enough as a kid, you don't grow up to be an asshole. That's what happens. Like I played Little League football and in sixth grade, my football team and I lost to another team, 116 <laughs> to zero. <laughs> you don't even need to know sports to go. That's a messed up score. <laughs> but I think it made me a much better adult because I learned about humility. Like what if I would have won 116 to zero? I might be an asshole now. Or even worse, I might have grown up to be one of those guys who takes his shirt off like this. I might be one of those guys. I hate that guy. You're not supposed to have that much confidence. You're supposed to pull your arms through the sleeves and then turn off the lights before anyone sees your doughy torso. I don't do sit-ups, I got Netflix. It's way more fun. I don't know, I'm not really like an aggressive guy when it comes to like meeting women. You know what it is? I recently realized that I have a very medium sex drive. And that's okay. <laughs> you know how awkward it got here when I said that? <laughs> Every guy's like, I wanna bang all the time. I don't know what this giant eunuch's talking about. <laughs> Someone better get this sackless wonder off stage. <laughs> Just saying our culture is super sexed up. Everything's about sex. Like every commercial is like, you're an American man. You should want to have sex. You're like, all right. I'm trying to watch football right now. It's the Lord's day. <laughs> you're a dude, got a dick, want to bang? Like, what? what? I like to nap, too. Why can't you advertise like that? Drink a Budweiser, take a nap. Done, done. It is fun going to bars and watching those alpha male douchebags hit on girls. Just walk up with their tight Ed Hardy shirts on, just ah, I'm so full of that's why I'm all veiny. It's the <laughs> trying to escape. It's silly. It's silly. They say silly shit. He's like, hey, babe, come on with me. I'll bang you all night. Gross. <laughs> For 
first off, who's got that kind of upper body strength? <laughs> if you say a sentence like that, you're committing yourself to a five-hour locked push-up. <laughs> if I tried doing that by minute three, my arm would be doing that goofy, out of shape jiggle. <laughs> Just like, yeah, 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 hold it, yeah, yeah, hold it. You bang me, you gotta bang me now. <laughs> your, your turn. All I'm saying is, if you come home with me, the night might start with sex. Maybe. <laughs> it's definitely gonna end in deep, deep sleep. <laughs> That's how I hit on women. I'm like, you wanna sleep in, girl? <laughs> sleep in all day. <laughs> Wake up, smoke a bowl, go back to bed. <laughs> I am lazy. <laughs> I don't know, I think it might be time to, to cut back or, or stop smoking weed. It's, uh, it's been a good run. I'm just not a, a, you know, I'm not into it the way I used to be. Like when I first started smoking weed, I was very aggressive about letting everyone know. I was like, smoke weed every day. <laughs> smoke weed every day. <laughs> and now I'm almost 30, I'm like, yeah, I, uh, I smoke weed every day. It's... <laughs> It's kind of a problem. I have no motivation. God knows where my keys are. Because when you start, they warn you. They're like, don't do too much of this or you're gonna become a pothead. You're gonna become a burnout. I used to hear that and I was like, I'm never gonna become that, ever. Five days ago, I witnessed a car accident and my only reaction was, uh, no. I am hungry. All right, thank you guys very much. You guys are a great job.